Hi guys, it's Mike here from Chaos Bushcraft Down Under. Today I thought I'd talk about charcoal, why you'd want to make it, and uh, some other sources of uh, artificial tinder, if you want to call them that. Now, um, most of you old guys are all familiar with the ferro rods. Now they're rated at uh, thousands of strikes. Now. We've all, we've all seen cotton balls, and they're fabulous, yeah, but, and there she is, it's burned away quite happily. Now, this is a dollar, dollar fifty worth of cotton balls. Now, it's unlikely that you're going to have a thousand cotton balls in your pack. And, um, you know, I have another video out there showing you how to improve them, making them better tender using things like olive oil, candle wax, and stuff like that. So, great, great piece of tinder. You can make it multifunctional. Say olive oil is handy for keeping your knife blade clean and all that type of stuff. Now, also talk about things like jute string. Now, uh, this is a, there again, a dollar fifty. Great big ball of it. In this box makes a great tinder. And of course you can use it as string. There we go, yeah. Didn't fire quite as easily as the cotton ball, but does a good job. So, uh, just stand by that. so for me, I mean, I travel a fair bit by air. Having a uh, long-term combustion source is really handy. Now, I I use this Tad Gear Sparklight, which has a, a small needle and thread on the inside, and then a larger one, a couple of buttons on the outside. So, the TSA guys don't bother me at all with this. Now, I normally carry it in a uh, Tad Gear uh, life capsule. And in there, I have three of these Tinder Quicks. So, to me, these are the, these are the gold sort of standard of off the shelf fire starters. I don't know what they're impregnated with, but they burn quite a while. And. Um, There we are, really great. But the problem is, if, if this is the case, in my micro survival kit, I can make three fires, which will certainly get me started. But in this situation where it becomes long term, I need to be able to replicate fire. So the ability of understanding what char cloth is and how to make it has a place. Now, for those guys that are using flint and steel, you know all about char cloth already. So basically, it's 100% cotton cloth, burnt in a low oxygen environment. Now I use the tin, I just stuck it in the fire for about 30 minutes. And white smoke comes out of the little brie of the hole. Now the brie of the hole isn't necessary unless it's, the, the tin has a good seal. Now this originally did, it probably doesn't need it now. So I packed it full of old t-shirt material. Burnt it for 20 minutes, and let's see it now. The top piece is a little bit underdone by the colour. I'm not, you know, camera's picking that up, but below that, it's still it's still a bit fragile, but it doesn't disappear completely in your hands. So now dinner makes a fabulous char cloth, as does the uh, the face wash, wash it, face wipe. Yeah, wash it. Okay. So they're a pretty good fire lighter. So this ends up with this semi-flexible cloth. Now. I've never been successful with bow drills. You know, where I live, the timber's very, very hard, and it 
I might get it to work one in ten times. So, uh, it might be a useful skill. This is the more successful method. So we have our, uh, our char cloth, which we've made. Now, uh, we've got a re reliable source. It should take a spark pretty easy. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. Blowing it so you might be able to see it better. So it's formed an ember, so then I can make with my tinder bundle. Close it in there. Away. So, uh, by made, being able to make charcoal in the field, you have got a, um, a long term system for lighting fires in the field. And I think it's a really w valuable skill to learn and understand. So, just to round things out, I thought I'd run you through um, my sort of heavy duty fire line to keep that I keep in a mess tin so this is something I wouldn't have with me all the time. So a waterproof match case with regular matches, waterproof matches and uh, strike anywhere matches which are really hard to get in Australia. I've got a nub of the candle. Oh, quick fire from the tinder. A length of jute string, a mini bic light, which as anyone knows, a mini bic is certainly a, a lady's sanitary product, a great source of uh, compressed cotton wool. I've got three Esbit tablets, fabulous, and a, uh, a foldable Esbit stove when all else fails. So I said, keep that in a mess tin, so I've got a cooking system and all that, but it's not the type of thing you're going to have in your pocket every day. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.